Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to The Walking Dead The Video Game. Thank you so much for joining me here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. The first video has been doing fantastic. I appreciate all the comments, the likes, and everything you guys have been doing so far. Now you're not here to hear me talk, so let's go ahead and hop on into the game. We'll do a little exploring here as Lee. Let's see what um, hey there, these girl. folks have to say. Let's go ahead and go with this. Actually, look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so you're good. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? Clementine is a first grader. Uh, so let's go with, uh, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Oh, how wrong they are. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Alright, and then we'll ask how the city was. Through the city. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Hmm. Uh, when I was in the cop car? Probably not. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay. Hmm. All right. Can we go in the barn? Let's see if we can go check the barn out. Probably not. The camera's not letting. Well, well, yeah, we can go in the barn. Here we go. Let's see what we got in here. We got our our bed rolls, but okay, not much else we can do in there. Uh, let's go back and talk to Kenny. I think he was working on his truck or something. We still got that bandage around his leg. Doesn't look like it's terrible. All right, let's uh, let's look at the truck here. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. All right, let's see what Kenny has hey, to say here. Uh, Kenny, uh, let's go. Need any help? No, I think I got it. 
Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? <laughs> we'll go with no kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. <laughs> Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Get out on the water. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Alright, Kenny. I believe in you, man. From what I remember, you are a, uh... You're a heck of a guy. All right, let's go see if we can get through the front door. No, we can't go up on the porch. We'll go check out, I think this is like a chicken coop or a chicken pen over here. Um, not much we can do over here. And then there's duck sitting on the, the tractor. So we'll head on back here and see, uh, see what's going on. Let's take a look at the tractor here. I guess that's all we can do. Um, can we talk to Sean? Uh, let's talk with let's talk with Duck first, shall we? No, we're just giving away. If he's up there having a good old time, all right. What do you got How to say, doing, Duck? Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> all right. Let's see what Sean has to say here as he's building this fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. All right, we're going to do ourselves a little manual labor here and cut a, a two by four into whatever length he needs. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh, shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um. My go with this one. Her and make it, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problemo. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. <laughs> anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right, let's go help Herschel in the barn, shall we? Walk on over there. Oh, that was a, that was a quick transfer. All right, my man Herschel, what do you got? How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. 
Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Looking for help in her house, has been attacked and she came to my rescue. Of course, that. attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> Wait, what? Go! I'll get my gun! What'd you do? Oh, what's going on here? Duck, what'd you do? No, 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 duck, no. Um, the, the boy. Um, the boy. What do I do? Hit him with the hammer? Beatbox him in. Come on. Come on, Lee. There you go. Now we gotta save Sean. Get Duck out of there. Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. All right, we gotta. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Oh, we need to get out of dodge. Time for us to go. worried about the boy look at him but you weren't worried about that please just go get out and never come back all right folks it's time to go Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, heck, that was awfully tense. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. So if this is Macon, I think they said Lee's family owns like a drugstore or something in Macon. There it is. Okay. Lee Everett. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, I'm gonna say they're not friendly. And there's quite a few of them. Several of them. Oh good, we woke woke up the neighborhood. Who has a gun? Who's this chick? Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. 
No, you're Gosh, actually in my parents' so drugstore. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Where's Duck? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a fuck. Oh, where are you going, Clem? We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Um... You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Hmm. Damn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Oh, we're going to go with this here in a second. It's a big deal. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're going to whoop me? You in one homo parade. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm going to kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No, we're tossing you out. Uh oh, hit him, Kenny. Hit him. This guy out. Happily. Jesus. Get him, Kenny. Oh, Wait, what? No, Clem. Oh, come on. What's this? Clem. Go to Clem. Go. Get him, Lee. Get her, Lee. Wait, what happened? No, Lee, get up. Lee, get up. Lee, get up. What do I gotta do? Lee? There we go. Come on, Lee. Get away from her, you son of a bitch. Uh, Q, 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 Q. Come on, Lee. Come on, you got this, Lee. Lee, come on. Uh, oh, thank God. Oh. Thank you. You okay? Just great, thanks. Could have pistol whipped it, but we'll take that too. Uh, guys? Ooh, we got company. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Ooh, automatic fire. Is that the military? I don't know. Or your local redneck militia. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, Is he having a heart attack? Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. The 
There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Um, you know you're right. Your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's <laughs> right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Thanks, Doug. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, Carly, Doug. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> you got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Kenny's in charge. Very nice. All right, so let's... Uh... Got some newspapers and things like that. But I think this is a fantastic stopping point for the video. We've had quite a few things happen here in the Walking Dead game. Uh, rather exciting, and i uh, excited to see the next episode. So if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to like. Give me a comment on down below what you've liked about this video, what you think is going to happen next here in Macon with Lee and Clementine and everyone else, Kenny, Katya, Duck, the group, the gang. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. That first video has been doing well, so let's keep it going in this second video. If you want to make sure you get the third video on time and in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time. And like I said, in an orderly fashion. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.